We just learned today the Pentagon has a program that teaches federal workers to view colleagues as, quote, potential insider threats if they are vocally critical of U.S. foreign policy. Now, when you think about the idea of America, I don't know about you, but I think about diversity, freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Uh, and in fact, the whole idea of having a democracy and a representative democracy is this idea of, okay, let's work things out in the, in the public square. We'll debate and we'll come to a conclusion and we'll take the majority and what they think, as long as it's not a constitutional issue. And we put that into law. We legislate it, right? But uh, no, according to the Pentagon, if you are a vocal critic of U.S. foreign policy, you are an insider threat. A threat. Now, so what would that make me? I would quite possibly be the biggest threat in all of America. If simply critiquing U.S. foreign policy makes you a threat? And by the way, how many people who actually critique U.S. foreign policy are a real threat? I've never met anybody who critiques U.S. foreign policy but is also a threat in the sense that they want to commit a terrorist attack or something like that. Almost everybody, well, literally everybody I know who critiques U.S. foreign policy is doing it because they are patriotic. It's the exact opposite of what they're afraid of. They think they're critiquing it because they're going to plan something nefarious? I mean, I don't know. Well, uh, several million people across the federal government have taken the training since it was released. And according to Pentagon spokesman, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Damien Picard, uh, he said that there has been only one complaint thus far. So, oh, stop, get off our back. So what? We consider you a threat if you don't love every part of our foreign policy, but only one person complained, so you and I should not complain about this. Um, he added that the next version of the security awareness training to be released in October is being updated so that its insider threat test focuses more on behavior, not on personal characteristics or beliefs. So what happened is people like me, people like you heard about this and we were like, what the fuck? Why are you acting un-American? Uh, of course you're supposed to respect diversity of opinion, especially on matters like foreign policy. We want to know what our tax dollars are going towards overseas. Of course we can be critical, right? Well, they heard the outrage and they go, yeah, no, we're changing it. Don't worry, it's cool. And I don't even necessarily believe them that they're changing it. They always pay lip service but don't do the right thing. And uh, a security training test created by a Defense Department agency, this is the test that we're talking about, warns federal workers that they should consider, quote, the hypothetical Indian American woman, Hema, a high threat because she frequently visits family abroad. Yeah, I know, that's very threatening. Uh, has money troubles. 75% of people are living paycheck to paycheck in this economy. Almost everybody has money troubles. But no, no, you're a threat if you have money troubles. And, quote, speaks openly of unhappiness with U.S. foreign policy. You know, I always try to bite my tongue when making these comparisons because these are strong words. But isn't this exactly like Soviet Russia, for example, where you can't disagree with the state or else you're a threat? I mean, is this not what Orwell predicted? Isn't this exactly Orwellian? It, the problem is there's no defending this, but this is the policy that our government is enacting, and this is the way they view you if you critique them. Maybe they should pick up the Constitution and read it, and they should try to uh, learn what the idea of America is. Because if they knew that and they enacted the right policies, it would be the exact opposite of this bullshit.